The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. If we take a look here at table one, we've summarized a few important neurotransmitters and we'll begin here with acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is one of the first slash best understood neurotransmitters and it's present at many synapses throughout the nervous system. It's commonly excitatory but it can also be inhibitory depending on the type of receptor molecule that is located in the membrane of the postsynaptic neuron. Acetylcholine is involved in memory, learning, and muscle activity. For example, acetylcholine is the messenger at every junction between motor neurons and skeletal muscles. Therefore, when acetylcholine is released to muscle cell, muscle cell receptors, the muscle will contract. And if acetylcholine transmission is blocked, it may cause paralysis as the muscles cannot contract. For example, bacteria in improperly canned foods can form botulinum toxin, which blocks acetylcholine from being released at nerve muscle synapses, and this can potentially lead to death by paralyzing the muscles that we use in breathing. Acetylcholine is also found in many neurons in the brain, and the underproduction of acetylcholine plays an important role in Alzheimer's.